All right, good morning YouTube and welcome back to another day at Life with Pi. So today I got something super exciting to share with you guys. Uh, I pre-ordered this and I wasn't expecting it till late June. Um, it's small, it's light, it should be a ton of fun on my road trips around Japan. And yeah, I want to share it with you all for the unboxing of my first impression just to see what it's like to get it out of the box. So here we go. And we have the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, I'm super excited for this. This is my very first drone. Um, reasons for picking this up is that drone laws in Japan are changing recently. Uh, some for the better, some for the worse. Um, but yeah, I'll try to put some links in the description of like places to find out information on the various drone laws, especially for those of you who are like going to be tourists and traveling with drones in Japan. But there's a lot of new things, like such as... Uh, in some red designated areas, if drones are still allowed to be flowing, um, you can hook up like a 30 meter tether to your drone. So like say a fishing line to a fishing rod and make it 30 meters long and take off in the air and at least get some decent aerial shots. That's like an eight story building for those of you who are, that don't speak metric. Um, and other than that, in other green zones, it's totally free to fly, but Something new is that uh, after the 20th of June, if you aren't registered, you will be required to have remote ID on your drone or via, via an external transmitter or internal if it's built internally. And luckily for me, the DJI Mini 3 Pro does have it built internally and will be getting that feature with a firmware update. So I'm, that's my reason for choosing this little guy. Also, when I travel back home to Canada with it being under 250 grams, uh, I should be able to fly it there without any problem. But anyway, enough of that rant. Let's get on with our unboxing. Where's a safe spot to cut this? Uh, not really a safe spot, but we'll go with it right here. Uh, do, 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 do. Nice and thin. All right. Ooh, oh, 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 it's gonna be stubborn. No, don't you do it. Man, I'm way too excited about this thing. I have wanted a drone for a dog's age. So now guys, oh no, we have more things to cut. Rats, oh wait no, they did a pull and peel. Ha, huh? awesome TJ, I, I love you guys. That's just a nice touch. Ooh, what do we got, what do we got? Oh, and this looks like our little birdie. Let's get this beautiful thing. Oh. There's a bigger drone going over, an airplane. Maybe it's a helicopter, I'm not really sure. But anyway, so guys, here is the Mini 3 Pro, first unbox. This is such a compact little drone. It's super light. The battery's even in it, and it feels like it weighs next to nothing. That is just insane. Let's pop these propellers out here. Whoa. Oh, that is so cool. So yeah. This tiny little dude is going to go in my backpack and hopefully travel all over Japan with me to areas that I haven't been before. Uh, my wife and I are going to Hokkaido in August, so hopefully I'll get to fly it up there if it's not too strict. i got to check the drone maps. But yeah, it has uh, rear sensors and front sensors, 4K camera. Uh, it's getting 10-bit raw inside it with another firmware update, obviously. Um... But yeah, it's just some cool shit. And here's some downward sensors as well. Uh, so yeah, awesome stuff. Let's see what else is in here. All right, this is like some cardboard padding. Oh, that is the remote. So I also got the remote with the RC the RC remote that way it has the built-in screen uh, from what I saw from some other people this screen is quite good and it does like 700 nits needs the battery standoff or the uh, post standoffs go on the bottom here so that's pretty good uh, it feels really comfortable in the hands it's a very light controller I was expecting something heavier uh, like you know I was expecting this to weigh more than my mobile phone and I have a Google Pixel 6 Pro which this is being recorded on right now currently uh, I was just too lazy to set up my camera gear today. And, um, yeah, this this is really light. Like, I could hold this for hours and not feel like getting tired. Like, versus, like, my DSLRs or my mirrorless cameras, which weigh a ton more than this thing does. 
I'll have to figure out what all this stuff does, but very cool. What else we got in here? That's it for the box. Sorry, there's my little friend there. He was propped up with some candies. And let's see, what else do we got in here? All right. So what's in the little accessory box? Let's see here. Oh, nothing else in there. So it looks like we got some extra props and screws. That is cool. Nice set of this two props in case you crash and burn. Hopefully they don't crash, knock on wood. A uh, little screwdriver for it, that's a nice touch. Instead of me having to go use my glasses screwdrivers. A USB-C to C cable is included. And various instruction manuals. We have a quick start guide. A huh, France SAR regulation compliance statement. That's interesting. Uh, so obviously this is the same as what goes in the European packaging. Then we have one for what looks like Japan probably. Uh, I don't know what this little manual is here. Not sure what that one is. I'll have to look for this after and read it. Uh, what do we got here? This is our safety guidelines. That's important, especially as a new drone pilot. I do need to read those and make sure I go over all that jazz. Uh, buy more guides. So the future is possible. Buy more guides, I guess. Different things, flight restricted areas, prohibited actions during flight, details about the law. So this is all really good stuff to know. And it's in English, surprisingly, for DJI Japan. That is really cool. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a full Japanese manual for this. Um, so I'll have to go through this later and check it out. And what else? Know your drone. So they have some extra stuff on here. And then I have my, what in the world is this? To contact the CAA for advice. Oh, so there's a little like card here, share the skies. That's really cool. They promote a lot of the compliance and like, you know, following the rules and doing the right thing with your drones. They want you to have fun, but they also want you to be safe. So that is really cool, DJI. And then there's some other stuff in my language that I don't speak. Anyway, guys, enough about this. So. Now that I have this lovely thing in hand, whoops, sorry, let's get that back in frame there. This little guy and this little guy over here, really nice piece of kit. Oops, sorry for the camera shake. Really nice piece of kit. Um, yeah, I, I'm super excited to fly and hopefully get some photos and videos up of me in the air for you guys to see later on. And maybe even some of the bike tracking. I really want to test it out with uh, the active track on a motorcycle, so that would be really cool to do. Um, if you guys have any cool flight ideas or pro tips for drone flying, uh, shoot them my way. I'm all ears and happy to hear it. Uh, I did not manage to get the Fly More Combo Kit for this one yet, uh, but I will buy that later probably after I get used to flying with the regular battery and it becomes more readily available. Uh, I have heard that I need to pick up ND filters. I'm looking at the Polar Pro ones, but if you guys have any other pro tips or recommendations for drone accessories, yeah, let me know. Anyway. Have fun out there, guys, and safe flying if any of you fly. And for those of you that don't, please check out more of my YouTube channel, and hopefully I'll have some more flying videos up once I get this thing up in the air. All right, guys. Anyway, have a safe one and uh, a great day and great week, whatever's going on with you. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.